the Joe Rogan experience. We should fill people in on exactly what we're talking about. So we're talking about a skeleton that was discovered that is 1.2 million years older than Lucy. So yeah, correct? the skeleton is yeah, it's 4.4 million years old. The oldest and, known human relative. Uh, well, it's the oldest known skeleton. And actually, this is an okay important distinction I, I should make. So, like I said before, skeletons are rare. Um, this is the oldest skeleton. There are. Uh, three other members of the human family that are uh, older. But the thing is, they're much more fragmentary. They're not anywhere near as complete. Like there's one, another one from Ethiopia found by the same team that found the skeleton we're talking about. Um, that's, you know, some, some teeth, you know, like a toe bone, a few other broken elements of the skeleton. There's another thing. Uh, another species called Aurora from Kenya, which is about six million years old. Again, you know, much more fragmentary, some teeth. Uh, I think they got a couple um, thigh bones, partial thigh bones. And then there's a, a skull from Chad called Salanthropus that's about uh, six million, maybe seven years old, depending on who's dating you believe. Uh, and that's that's a very nice skull, but it's a head without body. So, right. um, so so anyway, so there are uh, people sometimes get confused by this. So Artie is, is indeed the oldest skeleton. It's by far more complete than this other stuff. Uh, but uh, there are some, you know, fragmentary things that are older. And they all become part of this story, too. And what is the what is the scientific controversy? Do you think it's uh, is it based on real skepticism or it, it, uh, is ego involved in this? Like <laughs> you're laughing. Ego? So. It's science? What are you talking about? It's, it's unfortunate, ego? man. No, no, no. These are, these it, are scientists. No, no. Yeah, yeah. There's, there, a, well, lot. there's a lot of egos yeah, involved in science, unfortunately, right? Yeah, there's there's a lot of egos. There's a lot of disbelief uh, because the, the the skeleton was so surprising in a lot of ways and so contrary to the predictions that many – people in science had made that there was a kind of like a, you know, a head explode right. for a lot of people. So we so should, why, we should break down those particular things that are different than what was yeah. expected. Right. First of all, it, it yeah. walked upright. Yeah. So it, it, it walked upright. So it, it's primitive. I mean, if, if yeah. you saw, it, you know, if, if we could go back in the time machine and look at it, you know, this, this thing, our, the, the species name is Artipithecus ramidus. That's kind of a mouthful, but already, is the the individual skeleton that they found is that's you know the individual like like you're joe you're the individual and your species is homo sapiens that's how you think about this arctic pythicus ramidus species already the individual skeleton so um uh so the interesting revelations with it is it has upright posture so it's standing upright but it's still got the opposable toe so this is a creature that was in the trees um you know, clearly climbing, but it also, uh, you know, appears to be upright, uh, walking with this opposable toe. So it has seemed, it, you know, everyone knows that sometime deep in the human past, there was some kind of a boil ancestor, you know, some kind of ape. But, you know, the question has always been, well, what, what kind of ape? Does it look like a modern ape or does it look like, you know, something we've never seen before? And, um, uh, so the surprising thing about Artie is it's actually quite different than the living apes. Um, so, it, yeah, so it's got the supposable toe, walks upright. Are there, um, are there proportions? When chimps have shorter legs than they have arms. Are, is Artie's yeah. proportions similar to that? Uh, no, it, Artie, I mean, it's certainly more ape-like than, 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 than any of us. Uh, but it's... Uh, there's a couple interesting things about its, its proportions. So all the other living apes have longer arms than they do legs. So they spend a lot of time climbing. That's, you know, that's, you know, you have long arms, long, and they have, you know, they're different proportions, but they all have that in common. They got longer forelimbs than high limbs. Artie was a big surprise because it actually had longer legs than forelimbs. I mean, you know, it, it definitely has bigger hands, has longer arms than we do, but, uh, you know, that was a surprise, at least was to me, and I think to some, at least some of the researchers. Um, and, you know, I was talking before about these kind of um, surprises that appear after the fact. Well, that that was one, because the bones are broken. You know, these guys on this research team, it's called the, the Middle Outwash Research Project. Um, 
they spent a lot of time, you know, reconstructing this and then estimating, you know, how what are the lengths of the pieces that are not there, and then you know, run all kinds of regressions and a lot of calculations and stuff. But uh, so that revelation was sort of a, a delayed, you know, delayed bombshell, if you will, that it actually had uh, these limb proportions of that were more like a biped. Mm, and so uh, ours, our legs are longer. Chimps have longer arms. So is this like, does it have almost equal length arms and legs? Like uh, Jamie actually I, just put a photo of it up here and, I, and I'm getting a chance to take a look at it. Oh, it's uh, fascinating. So it has long yeah. legs, almost like a person, right. but longer right. arms than we do. Yeah. Yeah. Longer arms than we do for, for sure. I, I think, uh, I, I don't remember the exact name, but I, I think the calculation they did was that legs are, um, uh, oh, I think, I think the arms... Yeah, I want to say it's like ninety something percent. So it's it's pretty close to one to one, um, of uh, length. But indeed, the the arms are uh, a bit shorter. So the surprising part was that it didn't walk at all on its knuckles, being it th that it was that old. Uh, yeah. So, so the okay. So humans are we come from the African apes. That's pretty clear from genetics that's been clear for a long time. Um, there are two main groups of African apes. There's uh, gorillas and there's chimps. Now within those, and, and chimps also includes this other species you might've heard of called bonobos. And you know, within those, there's like debate about, you know, should we divide them into some subspecies and stuff? But, you know, I, we don't worry about that for now. But anyway, right. what they all have in common is they knuckle walk. So they got these long fingers and when they walk, you know, I mean, they you know, do this. I mean, if you look at a video sometime, you'll see it. And, um, you know, because our two closest cousins both do that, you know, there was a perfectly plausible theory that um, human ancestors did it well. So we evolved from a knuckle walking ancestor. I mean, there was even a cover story in nature that the, the, title, the, the headline was al almost that, you know, humans evolved from a knuckle walking ancestor. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that was that was the theory, and then so here with Artie, we have a creature that's, you know, it's 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 not the <laughs> last common ancestor with the African apes, but it's 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 certainly getting closer. It's getting a big step closer, and uh, the people, you know, the anatomists who specialize in these things, say that there's like no hint of knuckle walking. Not not only was it not knuckle walking uh, to get around, but also it has no vestige of a knuckle walking ancestry so in other words there's no like residual anatomy that would suggest that that it ever you know, knuckle, -walked. knuckle walked yeah so it was yeah. bipedal from the very early days At very very early days of, of the its species but, yeah of the species evolution well it, it's 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 bipedal you know, all period. you know is what you find you know at that at that at that Four, you know, 4.4 4 million year old window. Right. And that, you know, what comes before that is, is speculation. You know, it, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, these the people that do this, you know, it's, it's intelligent speculation, obviously, but right. you don't know what you haven't found. And so, um, uh, you know, now the, the, I mean, there's a debate about just how long ago the last common ancestor of, of humans and chimps lived. Um, it's probably at least, you know, anywhere from 1.5 million years before already to, you know, some estimates put it even further back than that. So, yeah, the, 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 there's another school of thought that's kind of emerged that says, well, it still could be a knuckle walking ancestor, you know, that gave rise to humans and already, but it just all the stuff had disappeared by the time you got to, to already. Anyway, that's that's mm. kind of a counter argument that we can get more into that later. I don't want to get too esoteric on you but um, but it seems so fascinating that it has these really long arms uh but that there's no evidence whatsoever of not only knuckle walking in that species but knuckle walking as an ancestry episodes of the joe rogan experience are now free on spotify that's right they're free from september 1st to december 1st they're going to be available everywhere but after december 1st they will only be available on spotify but they will be free that includes the video the video will also be there it'll also be free that's all we're asking just go download spotify much love bye bye mm.